Hello, and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Have you fixed my airbrush yet? Today on the bench, we have my wife's airbrush, which, as you may be able to see here, has a broken trigger. Let's see if we can figure out how this thing works and fix this thing. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on the camera, but it looks like the problem is that this trigger button came separated from this plunger. There is a clevis on the trigger button itself that this kind of slips in between. And then it looks like there should be a pin that goes between the two to hold them together, but still allows everything to kind of pivot. I was able to locate the pin. You can see I've got it on this magnet, so I won't lose it. So let's first try and reassemble this, see if we can get it back together. So I've got the pin through one side of the clevis. I'll bring the brass piece up and try and line it up and then get the pin through the hole in the brass piece and then through the other side. So it looks like we have it. That's all there is really to it. Now this pin could probably fall out again and probably most likely will fall out again. So I don't know if there's a way to kind of peen that over but I guess we'll just leave it like that for now. Now that we have the trigger mechanism together Let's see if we can disassemble this. At this point, I think I'll mention that I know almost nothing about airbrushes. So hopefully we can get this apart and back together properly. So I think what I'll do is unscrew this back piece. And you can see that comes off and exposes the back of the needle assembly. So next up, I'm going to loosen this thumb screw, which then allows the needle to come all the rest of the way out. The next step is to remove this inner uh, knurled piece. We can just kind of grab on that and spin it out. Now be careful here because there's a spring behind this and that could fly out once you remove tension from it. Okay, and then there's the spring. And then here is the trigger mechanism. So now that we've got that apart, Let's put the trigger itself back in. I don't know if this is showing up in the camera or not, but you should be able to see down inside that slot in the body of the air gun that there is a brass piece with a hole in it. And that is where this plunger that's on the end of the trigger needs to mate into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient the trigger so that these grooves that are on the trigger are towards the back of the airbrush. And then I'm going to just try and hold this as straight up and down as I can not sure if I can show it on the camera here, but I'm going to drop this in place and try and line up that plunger with that hole in that brass piece. Once you've got it in the right spot, you'll be able to feel some spring action from the valve that's down here if you still have that installed. If not, you should probably just be able to feel it kind of in that uh, hole that's in the brass piece. Anyway, now what we can do is work on reassembling everything. So next up, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to reinsert it into the airbrush body and I'm going to have the tab that's here sticking up so that it goes through the groove. Next up I'll put this spring over this shaft and then we'll bring this piece back in and thread it into the body of the airbrush. Next up I'll insert the needle into this shaft here. I we'll want to make sure we get that in straight so it doesn't bind or bend. And we'll slip that in until it just stops. We don't need to force it. Next we'll take this cone shaped piece and slip it over the end of the needle and thread it onto this shaft until it's tight. Before I slip the end of the airbrush back on, I'm just going to test the trigger and make sure it's working. You should be able to see the needle assembly moving in and out and it feels like it's moving freely and not binding. Next up I'll just thread the body back on and I think we're good to go. This piece back here controls the needle movement. I'm just going to unscrew that a little bit so we get some movement. And it seems like everything's working okay. Just to double check, I'm going to take the nozzle off the front and make sure I can see the needle move in and out. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I think this thing should be all fixed up now. So I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, 
but I do want to test this out and make sure it's working before I give this back to my wife. So I've put some water in the paint tank here and we'll just test it out against this board. I've got her compressor hooked up here, so let's see what happens. And it looks like it's working okay. Okay, that's lovely. Okay, so does it seem to be working the way you expect it to now? Um, yeah, I guess so. Well, that's pretty much it for fixing the trigger on this airbrush. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.